Good evening, take two. Uh, welcome to Possible, for those of you that, that aren't from, uh, from the agency, and welcome all of you to the first of our Inspired By events for the year. So some of you may know that uh, we've been running this Inspired By program for a while now, and the idea really, is, as the name suggests, is to get inspiration and provocation as well from people that are outside of our little corner of the world. And the idea really is to, to get us thinking differently, to challenge our preconceptions, and just to spark new ideas. We've got a, re a really great speaker tonight who's going to do all of the things that I just described. And uh, so I can avoid being accused of mansplaining. I'm going to hand right over to Susie now, who is going to introduce herself. So big round of applause for Susie Lee. Thank you, Gareth. Mansplaining. Um, I'm Susie Lee. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Siren, which is a different kind of dating app in which, um, crazy enough, we're, we think that personality matters to make real connections. So tonight's topic is called Embracing Awkwardness, and this is kind of obvious if you're in a dating industry because, as you know, first-time meetings, whether online or in real life, can be, like, insanely awkward. And we all dread awkward because, as you know, it's a lot like junior high. Okay, I've, I've shown this picture like twice and it's like I still am like traumatized by showing this. <laughs> that person is still inside me, right? And all of us, I think, have that. And the idea of like engaging in awkward conversations like triggers that, right? And so oftentimes what we do is we avoid it. One of the things that I know, especially in our company, even though it's really small, is that because we have female founders and because we're very committed to like having a very progressive company, we recognize that when we actually do a call out for any kind of hire, we get incredibly diverse candidates. It is not a problem for us to say, in the tech industry, we have women actually asking to work with us. We have people of color saying we actually trust this kind of like dynamic. So the thing about diversity is that diversity absolutely begets diversity. That Techstars um, incubator where there's all like the white dudes, it's like, I would not want to be in a company that's all white dudes because you do not give me enough money, that extra like line that says, this is my 24-hour educating of the white dudes in the thing. You don't pay me enough for that, so I'm not going to do it. Um, the other thing is that, as you know, that when you hit something that's tone deaf, it doesn't resonate. And so you know that there's going to be this change. There's this like amazing shift happening right now in society. So when you really talk about these difficult conversations, you're going to find relevant ideas, and these relevant ideas will absolutely resonate. And I'll tell you, even from a professional level, that's where your clients will be like, yes, that's the thing that we want to say. But when you look at most commercials nowadays, you're like, oh my God, like these are horrible because they're so tone deaf. They have no idea about the changing face in the US or in the world. Um, and to me, I'm like, the final thing is, uh, you know, as an artist, I really care deeply about the health of a community. So to say, if you could actually embrace the awkwardness in these conversations, I think you become citizens through these conversations. So, um, so I think when you start to think about this as saying embracing awkwardness is like a civic call to action, it becomes not just you being in junior high and saying, God, I don't want to do that again, but it is actually a way to really improve not only the places that you work, but you know all the neighborhoods around you and the groups that you're actually in. So Maybe as a takeaway, when you guys like hang out with each other and like meet, it's like you know to meet even just new people tonight as opposed to just like talking to the people you know. That could be a way to exercise those awkwardness um, muscles here. So thank you very much, and um, yeah, we'll talk soon.